Roy, the executive director at Novama, is with us. Abneesh, which part of the camp do you belong to? I mean, I was going through your note where you have sort of uh, adjusted your profit estimates downwards for FY24. But tell us about, uh, you know, the target price, other earnings expectations as well. Sure. Thanks. Uh, so we expect revenue supermarket stock to be under slight pressure in the near term because of the miss, almost 10% miss in terms of the EBITDA. Uh, definitely the other issue is apparel slowdown. So if you see they're pointed towards uh, definitely apparel and merchandise percentage are clearly lower. And that's why there is a gross margin pressure uh, in terms of the past few quarters and why why also it is there. So the other issue for uh, Avenue Supermart this quarter has been uh, clearly store addition. Only three stores were added uh, versus their full year uh, number, which I think most analysts would be building with be around 50. So these two have really impacted the numbers. The revenue update had already come a few days back. So uh, there is, that's why 3% cut in our numbers. We have a target price of 4015. So we expect uh, the stock to be under pressure in the near term. But from a two years perspective, this is a good compounding story because of three reasons. So if you see the store uh, addition always is bunched up and that's true for most retailers because of so many approvals needed. So you'll see suddenly one of the quarters very high addition also. So we remain confident that they should be able to meet the 50 store number. Second is quarter on quarter, there is an improvement in terms of gross margin by 120 bips. And they have pointed that the general merchandise percentage is improving. Our concern remains on apparel. So apparel slowdown is uh, across the board, uh, except the lower end. So there definitely all players are uh, facing an issue. Uh, third is, of course, uh, this is seen as a good proxy to the overall consumption compounding story and huge uh, runway to add stores in the other uh, states also, X of Gujarat and uh, Maharashtra. Plus, the competition from hyperlocal is abating because they are focusing on profit. So, it's a good uh, long-term story, but near term, there should be some pressure. We have a target price of 4015. All right, Abnesh got that pretty clear. Quickly, Abnesh, we're running to market opening, but if you could tell us, you know, Reliance Retail's... Uh, a listing could be in the offing. Now, that's what the street is building in. What does it do to a stock like DMART? Does it justify these premium multiples or does it pull away the scarcity premium? So, in that case, will it be negative for it? No, I would say that uh, overall, uh, because of the overall uh, liquidity coming into the market, FIA is pumping so much of money. Uh, this is a stock which uh, FIA is also like from longer term perspective. Mm. So, I would say that that kind of event should impact uh, re rate the stock. Reliance Retail is far more diversified. And uh, mm. definitely in the core grocery, DMART is extremely well placed. So I would say, yes, uh, that should turn out positive from a medium longer term perspective. All right. Thanks a lot for that. We're just heading.